Welcome back. It's 745. We're already thinking about retirement. The new year is a great time to work on working on that nest egg. Tyler Sato from Coast Capital joins us this morning to explain how we could get started. Good morning to you. Good morning. So Tyler, explain this concept, smart goal setting, and how we can apply it to retirement investments. Sure. Well, smart goal setting is specific, measurable, <clears throat> attainable, relevant, and time-specific. And we look at specific to start with. Uh, you, you don't want to set up a, a financial resolution goal of improve my finances because it's just too broad. You want to look at something that will make an impact. And we look at kind of the four major uh, spaces where you can make an impact. Uh, one would be setting up a spending plan. So what are my priorities? Where do I want to actually spend my money this year? Getting a short-term savings. Are I, am I paying for my vacation or am I paying off my vacation? Mm -hmm. Having that short-term savings and that long-term savings, which is what, kind of what we're talking about, in that retirement savings. And having some protection, right? If, if something bad happens to me, do I want to pay for it or do I want an insurance company to pay for it? Okay, okay. that's specific. I've got three, four letters here. Yeah. So uh, M, measurable. Measurable. So making sure that it is, uh, you, well, there's a couple ways you can do this. You could set up a, you could figure out what you're going to retire on, how much the balance is, back it up with inflation and what your rate of return is and yeah. figure out how long you're going to live. Or, because most people are, are pretty close to uh, to zero on, on their retirement savings, yeah. is let's just start something, right? Maybe it's 25, maybe it's 50 bucks, maybe it's 100 bucks a paycheck, and, and just start it. If you are saving something, and maybe we're looking at, at just increasing that a little bit, but making sure it's measurable and setting up something, don't set up that huge retirement goal at the end, maybe set up a three-year goal or a five-year goal so that at three years you can check it off and say, hey, I, I achieved that, now I'll set up a new three or five-year goal, right? Yeah, is it, is it, a, is it a commonly monthly <clears throat> pay, payment in terms of, or savings, I should say, in terms of how much money you make? The per percentage for retirement? Um, well, it, it depends on your stage of life. I'll say that when you're younger and you've got a lot of debt, you maybe have kids and you're starting your mortgage, it's going to be harder to get that 10% that part of your paycheck, right? As you get older and the kids move out and your mortgage gets smaller and your, your paycheck maybe is a little bit bigger, it's going to be easier to save a little bit more. But I think something's better than nothing 100% of the time. And there's not a ton of people that I meet when they're retiring going, oh, I wish I had waited and saved later and not started when I was 20, right? Mm -hmm. That just doesn't happen. Couple of minutes to get through the rest. Attainable, <coughs> okay. that's A. Or so we did attainable. Do we do attainable? No, I'll give no, you attainable a quick goal. attainable. Yeah. Make it achievable, right? Okay. Don't don't set the goals too lofty, uh, but but make it stretchable, right? So uh, if you want to save a little bit, maybe it's uh, skip skip buying lunch and you pack a PB and J and a and a, <laughs> and a pudding cup once a week and you yeah. save yourself next twenty five bucks a month, yeah, right? Yeah, good tips. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> R and smart. Uh, relevant, so it's got to fit you, and this is more with your investment goals. If you're five years from retirement, it's probably a different plan than if you're 20 years from retirement. And your income, and whether you have group benefits and a pension, these all take have a have a play in it. So mm -hmm. uh, if you're not sure, get a financial advisor and get them to help you out. All right, and finally, the T in SMART stands for time specific. Is this about uh, avoiding procrastination? This is absolutely about avoiding procrastination. Uh, someday never happens, tomorrow never comes. So set a date and, and get to it. And once you start it, get it regular, have a little bit per paycheck, and then you want to check up on it annually. So that one year, three year, five year, make sure that goal, you have a little check mark to say, I did it. Yeah, so start today. Maybe yeah. <laughs> or tomorrow. Tomorrow. Get a date. Yeah. Get a date. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Thanks so much again, Tyler, yeah. for your valuable advice in terms of uh, retirement planning. Uh, if you want to watch this segment again, you can check out our website, ctvmorninglive.ca.